Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today, I'm going to be taking you through my 9 most expensive pops according to Stashpedia, so let's get right into it. So guys, the last time I did one of these videos was, I think, three or four months ago. I think four. And I've gotten a lot of pops since then. The list has definitely changed. There's a few similarities, uh, just because some pops hold their value for a long time. But I've sold some pops, I've bought some new pops, so I did want to show you my top nine today. Um, the only reason I'm doing top nine is because Stashpedia kind of lists it in like kind of nine. If you do the tenth one, you kind of have to do the twelfth. So anyways, if you guys have Stashpedia, you know what I'm talking about. But at number ten, we have a really, really cool one that I just recently picked up uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and it's limited to a thousand and eight pieces, and it's from Adventure Time. It is Zombie Jake. Uh, this thing comes in at $150 on the dot, and I actually bought this for $75, I believe. I actually bought this on video, like, um, it was, an uh, online Funko Pop Hunt. You guys can go back and search for that video, but, um, I got it for, like, $75, bucks, so I was super happy with that, and the value of it at that time was, I think, $80, and then just recently, there was two sales for this that were like 160 bucks, so it jumped it up all the way to 150 which is pretty cool. It's always nice to have a pop that you paid a lot of money for stay at a lot of money. So, pretty cool one at number 9. At number 8, guys, we have a Freddy Funko. This is actually the only Freddy Funko on this list. It comes in at also 150 just like the uh, Zombie Jake there. And this one's really special to me. I really, really like this one. Also, one side note. You will notice that none of these, except for one of these pops, has a hard protector on. I put uh, 0.5 millimeter um, soft protectors on all of my rare pops and expensive pops. Pretty much anything over $50. And I just think that they do a way better job. They don't, like, scratch up the pop when you take it out of the protector. Um, there's no acid. And I know the other ones don't have acid either, but... I just think they're so bulky and they don't really fit in the collection. Like, if you put a hard protector in that wall somewhere, it's just going to make it look all odd. And these ones just, I don't know, I just really like the soft protectors much better. I think they do a way better job. Anyways, and that's debatable. I know a lot of people like the hard protectors, but I'm not going to put 50 pops in hard protectors because that's like $500. Anyways, guys, this one is really, really cool. It is the Fanatic of the Week, Freddy Funko. If you guys can see the sign he's holding there, it says Fanatic of the Week. And uh, on the back there, it says Fanatic of the Week. So I actually won this when I first started my YouTube channel. It's basically you send in a picture of your collection, like as many pictures as you want. You tell them a little story, and if they pick you to win, they feature you on their blog, and you win this along with uh, this prototype right there, that little red prototype. It's not that one always. They send you just a random one. But I think it's really cool, and I really like that. I just won this one. So I paid $0 for this. It's worth 150 and it used to be worth like $500, but it's all good. I didn't pay anything for it, so it doesn't. I don't really care how low it goes in value. I really, really like this pop. At number 7, guys, we have a pop that I paid $122 for, and this is actually also the only flocked pop on this list. Comes in at $151, and it is the Flocked Wicket. This is a Fugitive Toys exclusive. Super happy to have picked this one up. I love how his fur makes the whole pop darker, um, just because it looks a little more realistic. Uh, you can see him on the side there. That's kind of what the original looks like, I think. Um, or maybe they made a different picture for the Flocked one. But this is a super, super cool pop, and uh, I just, I, really cool one. At number six, we're jumping up to $170, and I paid, where did I pay for this guy? Hmm, I actually, oh, I won this one in a, mystery, a Toy USA mystery box, so uh, the mystery box was $250, and, but it came with a bunch of other pops too, so I think I probably paid around $170 for this one, maybe $180, maybe $160, you know, give or take, but this one's really, really cool, and it is a Tigger. So this is the original Tigger, and honestly, this one's probably valued a little higher than 170 There's the back there. I love this series. This is Series 4, and there's just a bunch of cool pops in there with this. Um, but anyways, uh, I think this one's valued a little higher than 170 just because the box condition on it is perfect. That's why I like mystery boxes, because Toy USA, at least, usually has mint boxes. You know, sometimes they'll come across one that isn't, but usually their grails are pretty mint, so that's really cool to get a mint one of these, because you don't come across those uh, every day, just because it's such an old pop, and sometimes, you know, they get damaged. Breaking into the $200 range now, guys. The rest of these pops are $200 plus. This one comes in at $208. And I've actually owned two of these at one time. And I just actually sold it for, I think... I sold one for, like, $250 a couple of days ago, but... Or actually a couple of weeks ago. Anyways, guys, this is a Disney one. It's from The Incredibles, and it is Syndrome. So, this is my favorite Disney villain... Actually, top three, because Lotso is my favorite. But this is one of my favorite Disney villains. And this is just a super, super cool one. It's from Disney Series 2. Uh, I still need to get a ton of pops from this series. But this is a super awesome series. Most of these pops are super, super rare now. And, uh, yeah, I just really like this one. I won this one from a Poptopia mystery box. I got it for $30. So that it was a fantastic price to get this one for, um, considering it's worth um, $200. So that's like a $170 gain. So I sold the other one, bought 
a different pop on this list that's a little higher in value. And I still have this one with a minty box. And uh, this one came out in 2011, I think, which is a really long time ago. And this is actually the Disney Store one. So they make Disney ones and the Disney Store one. I believe the Disney Store ones are a little more rare because they came out six months earlier. But yeah, that is at number, what number was that? Five. Coming in at $218, we have the only pop that's in a hard protector. I hate hard protectors, guys. I really, really do. But this is from one of my favorite lines that Funko has ever made. I'm still trying to complete this set. I have four of... I have every pop from Series 2, but I still need every one from Series 1. So I'm working on that right now, but there's just so many grills I'm going to buy lately, guys. Anyways, I paid $6 for this, and it is Glinda the Good Witch. I know this is a super, super awesome pop. There is a little damage right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but on the crown there, yeah, you can kind of see that. It's kind of a little bent over. Um, I think that happened during shipping, but still overall a really cool pop. Really, really like this one. So yeah, like I said, I have Tin Man, Scarecrow, Cowardly Lion, Glinda the Good Witch. So I still need Dorothy and Toto, Wicked Witch, and Wing Monkey at the top there. So I have all of Series 2, but I still need all of Series 1. So it's it's kind of a losing battle. All those pops are going way up in value. But yeah, I got this one for $6 on Makari. So guys, go check Makari. Um, I think I have a code that you can use. I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the description if I remember. But yeah, 6 bucks. it's worth 218 This next pop is super cool. It comes in at $260, and it is also Disney. If you guys couldn't tell, my focus is Disney right now, and it actually kind of always has been. Most of my top grails I buy are Disney. Um, and then I kind of branch out with Star Wars and DC and all that. But uh, this is a super, super awesome one. I paid 230 for this guy. So when I bought it, I paid... No, actually, I paid 260 for it. And it was worth 230 And then just recently, it's kind of jumped up a little bit in price. But it is alien. And guys, this is a super, super cool one. And actually, something cool about this box. It actually says uh, bobblehead, but the pop isn't a bobblehead. So basically, Funko messes up sometimes. Back then, they did a lot, especially with the Toy Story line, because they made non-bobblehead ones, and they made bobblehead ones. So sometimes, the boxes would get me messed up in manufacturing. And that's pretty common. It's not like it doesn't make it any more valuable or anything. But it's just kind of cool to have one of those Funko Airs. And uh, this one is from Series 3. So again, a ton of cool pops in this series. Um, I just, I, I need them all. I need them all, guys. But yeah, numbers, oh God, I keep forgetting what number it is. I think this is number three. At number two, guys, this one comes in at $280. And this one's limited to 480 pieces from San Diego Comic-Con 2013. Honestly, I can see this pop being worth $500 in a couple of years. Um, I really can. This is just such a cool pop. It's so limited. Plus... I have just a minty fresh box. I won this from a Toy USA mystery box. I paid $100 for the box. I got this pop, a chase pop, and just a common. So for 100 bucks, that was a super good deal. At the time, the pop was worth $97. So I was I kind of just broke even on that box. But now the box is like three times more than what I paid. Anyways, guys, this is the Metallic Sully from Monsters University. Just, just an amazing pop. I still need to get the Metallic Mike Wazowski, but probably won't happen. This is just a super cool one, and honestly, I can so see this one going so high in value. Especially, I have a really good box, which I'm happy about, because most of these, they're from, what, five years ago? So, a lot of the boxes are damaged, so I bet there's only about 400... Actually, I bet about 200 mint boxes of this, so super, super cool pop comes in at number two. Our number one pop comes in at $365. I've explained this thing so many times, it's almost getting boring now. Uh, but it's San Diego Comic-Con 2014, my favorite Comic-Con ever, and it's limited to a thousand pieces. And it is the SpongeBob Leonardo and Plankton Shredder lunchbox pop. So uh, the main reason I wanted this one is because that's the only way you can get any type of Plankton pop right now. Um, and I just like that it was in the lunchbox concept. It has a SpongeBob logo right there and then right here it has the ninja turtles logo so a super super cool concept has great art on the back and just overall an amazing pop but you guys already know the story you've probably seen this on my channel a million times so i'm gonna stop talking about it now it's pretty much gonna do it for the video guys thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new share it with your friends share it on facebook anyways guys i'll see you next time